everybody and welcome. This is my first uh, video of my truck and the introduction of my truck on this channel I'm starting. All about the installation of my lift kit on this truck and about any other modifications I'm going to do and hopefully other trucks in the future. I do have another project truck as well and this video is just going to introduce my truck and see what you all think of it. And um, so here, here she is, my baby. This is a 2015 Ram 2500 with the Cummings in it, the 67. It has an eight inch BDS lift kit that I installed myself. It has 40 inch tires on it that are the Gladiator X comps on it on 17 inch rims. They're 13 and a half inch wide tires. They're ultra motorsport rims, the mongoose style. And um, this is what I've done so far. So far is just the lift kit. And I'm gonna do a delete on this truck too. I'm gonna do a full video of every type of part I put on this truck and a little bit of the insulation. I know insulation videos can be kind of boring. I'm also gonna do some videos of me driving down some trails with it. I mean, this is my daily driver, so I'm not gonna destroy my truck, but I do go on the beach on it. I'm gonna have some beach videos probably. And uh, well, I guess we'll do a rundown on the other components I have on the truck. So it does have the Fox shocks on it. They're the Adventure Series uh, shocks on it. The kit comes with a new coil spring for the eight inch lift. It is the four link suspension from BDS right here. As you can see, I really do like their uh, lift kit because it has the lifetime warranty on it. The instructions were pretty clean on installing it. There was only one little spot to weld on it right here. It's just a bong, a little spacer in here. You can actually weld that at the end when you install this lift kit. I also put on the dual steering stabilizer. I do want to beef up the front suspension more. Maybe I'll do a video when I do get the components finally. I did add the steering brace on it. Right here. I do like these X-Comp tires. They are nice tires. They're really good on the beach too. They are biased tires, so they are a little bit egg shaping a 40 inch tire. The truck does get a minor hop when I first start moving. I was thinking maybe if I did a wider rim, it might pull that out a little bit, but they are nice tires though. The rear does have coil springs on the truck. Box shocks on it. This lift kit did take me a little bit to put on it. I had to drop the transfer case on it to put a alignment ring on it which lines up the front drive shaft a little better so it's not on such a harsh angle on the truck. It did come with new brake lines for the front as well. I mean, it's a big truck. It's not meant to go in extremely tight trails. But it does ride nice with these Fox shocks on it. I can't wait to do other modifications on it. I really hope everybody tunes in and checks out each modification I do. Basically, I like all trucks though. So in the comments, put on maybe what kind of truck you have and what type of things you have done to your truck. I, my, I have a friend who has a Chevy as well that has a little lift on it. 
I have another project truck, which I'm going to show in another video that um, I want to do more stuff to it as well as my first truck. So this truck here I love. It's my baby besides my fiance and I can't, I'll never part with them. I'm just, I just get attached. I really hope you enjoyed this short video of introducing my truck and hopefully you'll tune in for some videos and maybe going down some trails and when I add my next modification on it because I still got to do stuff on the truck like change gears, change the exhaust on it and I'll show what I did and I am going to do it all myself. It's how you get to know your truck is working on it yourself. And so if something goes wrong, you have a good idea of what happened because you're the one who did it. I also did my own alignment on the truck too. I have a quick alignment tool that actually, the tool cost me the same amount it would cost you to go get an alignment. So the first time I did it myself, it paid for itself. I'm off-road a lot with work, but I do clean my truck after I go off-road on it. I, I do excavating work, so it does see the mud and all that, but I do like to clean that off when I'm done because it's not good for the body of the truck. And I keep something to last, so I always think about when I'm driving it or what I'm doing to, to make it last longer. I got over 200,000 miles on another truck doing that that had a lift on it. But that truck will be coming up, so stay tuned for that one. Well, thank you for tuning in on my first video of my truck. If you liked my video, please subscribe to it and hit the thumbs up button, please. And there will be more videos of my truck. So thank you very much and have a nice day.